Un, deux, un. Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm Aleste Pario Siberiano and you may know me because I spent the last three months of my life playing a lot of difficult, very difficult songs using one hand. Today, I'm going to guide you through my secret exercises that I need to work on in order to be able to play that kind of stuff. Now, this may seem useless because, well, who plays with one hand, right? It's not. It is not useless. If you're able to play very interesting fills and grooves just using one hand, of course you will be able to do a lot of incredible stuff once you add the left hand. Now these exercises work perfectly in order to build control and confidence not only with your right hand, but you can also move it to your left one. And also by taking away that extra hand, it doesn't matter if it's the right one or the left one, you can fully focus on controlling the phrasings that you are going to play. So this is a very useful tool for you to have and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you. Okay, so for the first exercise, we are going to be working on a sticking that could be used as 16th notes, but it also could be used as 32nd notes. And that's right, right, on the floor tom, on any of your toms, your snare drum, it does not matter. Just right, right, doubles with your right hand or left hand, and then we are going to play two kicks. Now that I have my double pedal with me, I'm going to use right, left in order to have more power and more definition. However, you could do that just with a single pedal and it would not be a problem. Now, let me show you how this exercise should sound like. Now, of course, this is just the basic version of this job, right? Because there are thousands of possible orchestrations that you could pull around the kit. Now, for myself, I do not have a lot of toms, so I can only orchestrate this around the snare drum and the floor tom. But check this out, you can even play some astounding sweeps between the snare drum and the floor tom, and it's going to look sick and sound sick. And now, if you can have this done using just one hand, imagine how far you can push this using two hands. Let's try this out. Hey guys, before we do this, I just wanted to invite you personally to check out the new course that I have been filming with the guys at Dramio, the fastest way to get faster. There I'll show you my 10 favorite exercises that I have been using for most of my life in order to play very fast on the drums while staying relaxed. So please, you'll see the link somewhere on this page, but for now, let's go back with the lesson. Okay, and now let's move on to the next exercise. For this one, we are going to practice 16th note triplets between our right hand on the floor tom and both of our feet. Now, don't panic. This is a very, very simple sticking and it goes like this. Right hand on the floor tom. Right foot, bass drum. And of course, left foot, bass drum. And you play that over and over and over again. Not hard at all. Let me show you how this sounds. However, it may look simple, but let's see what happens when you try to play this very, very fast.
Okay, and now that we have those patterns down, you can add thousands of variations. Your creativity is the only limit here, so let's try them out. Okay, and now for this lesson, I'm going to teach you my favorite one-handed lick ever. This is something that I find really, really useful in my everyday drumming. You can use this sticking as 16th notes or maybe as 32nd notes if you're brave enough. Now, the sticking itself is pretty, pretty basic. It goes like this. We have one very strong note on the floor tom with our right hand. Boom, right? And then we are going to play a group of doubles with our right foot, goes like this. And also, in order to finish, one really powerful stroke with our left foot. Now that you know the sticking, please remember that all of these notes are evenly spaced, okay? We are looking for a clean sound here, and in order to do that, you may want to practice this a little bit. But check this out, this is how it's going to sound if you practice this enough. Let's go with it. And now again, if you can play that with one hand, imagine the things that you could create by adding the other hand. Let's try some variations. Cool, right? Those were my three favorite one-handed licks. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of different benefits of practicing these kind of one-handed exercises. They're not only to show off. Even though they look pretty, pretty awesome, they're not only there to show off. So please, now you got the tools. Practice this and enjoy them as I do every day. Cheers. <laughs>